So guys, I have had the Canon ADD for over a year now. The ADD came out 2016, I believe. So it's going on a two year old camera. From the start, it was outdated because it didn't shoot 4K, where simple point and shoot cameras like the Sony RX100 does 4K, no problem. So why would you want a Canon ADD in 2018? So the very first video I made with the ADD was filmed with the kit lens. Now this is the 18 to 135. So what that does, 18 millimeters is super wide and then 135 is super zoomed in. So it kind of allows you to do pretty much anything you want. The issue with the 18 to 135, it's a kit lens, so it is cheaper, less quality glass. But the biggest problem when you're filming inside like me, lighting's pretty much limited because it's all artificial light. So you need a really good lens to let in the most light to your sensor. So without getting too uh, technical, this lens just doesn't let in that much light. It doesn't allow to have the best depth of field behind you. So like right now I'm recording with the Canon 24 to 70 f2.8 uh, L glass second generation, if you want to say it all. It is night and day difference. So if you think you're going to buy a new camera and use the kit lens and get professional quality, like you see with a lot of YouTubers, just the camera isn't going to do it. The camera is probably 20% of everything. You need good audio to complement the camera. You need a good lens to complement the camera. You need good lights to complement the camera. All that I've luckily slowly been able to accumulate over time. I do YouTube all by myself, it's all just a hobby. So part of the hobby is kind of collecting the gear to make a better setup. I mean, I would even compare YouTube to an RPG. You start off broke, naked, and helpless, and you just kind of learn along the way and co collect gear, and there has to be a point where you're happy with your gear. And it is January 1st, 2018, and I am happy to say I am happy with my gear. I have a Canon ADD, it doesn't record in 4K, but I am okay with that. Everything else I have, it complements my camera really well. And when I'm ready to upgrade my camera, it's gonna be really cool. And one huge benefit of Canon that everyone can kind of agree on is that they get the best color reproduction out of their competitors. Sony um, and Panasonic are like the big competitors to Canon just because they can do 4K. Um, there are Canon cameras that can do 4K, but as compared to the ADD, the price points make the Canon ADD a pretty good competitor with like the, I don't know, GH4 and the Sony A63 and A6500. So Canon to me makes my face look the most realistic. When I get all the settings right, my face looks pretty natural. It's not, you know, too blue, too white, too yellow, whatever. It just looks good. And I don't color correct at all. I've gotten used to my camera, so I know what settings to use. I know how to shoot in manual mode, but I also know how to go beyond that. I know how to set my microphone settings to manual. I know how to set my color temperature to match my lights or where I'm at. So you have to learn how to do that. So this is how I set up my camera so I don't have to white balance. Um, the basic manual settings, so I always shoot my videos on manual. And the manual settings I do is I keep my shutter speed at 50, which is twice my frame rate of 24, approximately. My f-stop is f2.8. That keeps the best depth of field. It makes the background really blurred out. That's what having this lens unlocks. You see the f2.8? That is where you get this f2.8 here. And then ISO, you just use ISO to tweak the brightness. So depending on where I'm at, I'll put it up or down. If I'm doing thumbnails, I may make it purposely brighter just so it stands out. But usually around ISO 125, 160 is good for in here. And that is my manual settings, but then there's more than that. You know, you have the color and audio and stuff. So you can see my audio right here when I'm talking. You wanna get it up as high as possible, but also you don't want it to peak either. The better it is here, the less adjustment you have to do outside. And now you hear me on this camera, so I apologize for a second. So um, the other settings I do, I have audio recording levels right here. Usually it's on auto when you first get your camera, but you wanna turn that off 
and you want the audio levels to be as low as possible. So I have it one step up from the bottom because I have my Sennheiser lav mic system. It does all the work. So I have this. So I have this one connected up to my camera, which transmit the audio. And then I have one here that I wear hooked up to this. And that's hooked up to this microphone right here. So that's the secret to my audio, which right now the audio isn't going to sound good because I'm using the audio with my this camera right here. Um, and then also white balance, very important. That determines your picture. So this is auto white balance right here. It kind of makes my face a little bit too white. I kind of like the warmest glow. So what I do, um, if I'm outside, you can easily just do daylight, shade, cloudy, depending on where you're at. But I usually do the, the color temperature right here. And you can set the color temperature. And you can basically do this to adjust the color. Because you can see the higher it goes, the more yellow. The lower it goes, the more, you know, kind of neutral. And then eventually, if you get it really low, I'll look like, I don't know, super blue. But what I do, I just match this color to my lights. So this goes back with all my gear. So the color temperature is F5000. So guys, I've had the Canon 80D for over a year now, and I can easily say that it is one of the best cameras for creators if you don't need 4K. I've worked with it for over a year, so I've gotten super used to it. I can film, I can do the settings without even looking at the camera. Like when I have the screen flipped out, when I have the screen flipped out, I can just reach around on the camera and I know exactly where the menu buttons are. So it's just been like second nature to me. Um, even the the better, even the big brother of the Canon 80D, the 5D Mark IV, it's a great 4K camera, but the screen does not flip out. It's not fully articulating. So I hope that uh, down the line, a 5D Mark V comes out and it has that fully articulating screen because Canon needs to realize that the people that demand these cameras in 2018 are creators. We're used to filming ourselves. So they need to step up the game and I can't wait to see what they do come out with next. I'm probably gonna get another Canon camera, a 90D, whenever it comes out. The 5D Mark V, whenever it decides to come out. But a lot of people are going to grow impatient because they do want 4K. Me right now, I'm perfectly content where I'm at. It just turned 2018. I've, believe me, I've spent a shit ton of money on gear last year in 2017. My lights were $1,000. My microphone was $600. My computer, nearly $3,000. I bought the Mavic, 1,000. I bought the Phantom 4 Pro, 1,500. I've put a lot of money into camera gear, and 2018, I want this year to just kind of sizzle. <laughs> I want to use what I got, be thankful what I have for what I have, and just learn to master the gear I have now so that when I do have the opportunity to upgrade down the line, I'll appreciate it more. And the lens I have right now, that 24 to 70 is full frame, so if I do decide to upgrade to a full frame camera, like the 5D Mark V, whenever that decides to come out, I will have the best possible picture because I already have that really good lens. I'm thinking of the future. And guys, that is it. Um, other than the crazy coffee spill, we had a great video today. If you want to see the full behind the scenes um, drama of the coffee spill, I will link to that video right here. Not a big, not a big deal at all. It just kind of went on everything, <laughs> but not one thing got ruined. Just a few splashes. Um, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to to click right here. I'll put my head, and it's hashtag JJ to 100K. We're trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers. Here's where we're at now. Hopefully, when you subscribe, this number will be a little bit higher. 
Um, but that's it. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.